Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. It's no surprise that I've got bits of Ferrari here. Today, we're going to be doing pack three of the Agour Models release, a build, the La Ferrari. Now we're up to pack three, and I believe we're going to be doing some work inside the uh, floor pan that we got in the last pack. We're also going to be doing some of the wheels and tires. Uh, let me just show you some of the other stuff, because there is a load that we've done in the first two packs. As you can see, we've got two different kinds of wheels here. There's a big size difference between them. So that's the wheels. We uh, also worked on the dashboard and steering wheel here, looking like that with the lovely flopped uh, feel of that dashboard. That's excellent. We've worked on the uh, two seats. So we've got two seats completed here like that. God, so much. We've done one of the coolers here, looking like that. We've also done the top of the cylinder heads with all of those individual bolts in there. We have got gaskets on the other side there. We did the front of the vehicle with the grill, looking like that, that's all metal. We have got the top of the steering wheel looking like that. Two more things, we've got the bonnet, which we put the hinges in on that side. And then lastly, what we're gonna be working onto today, we have got the floor pan, we've got some mats in here as well. So if you like what you're seeing, you wanna build this for yourself, I've got the link down here to the Agora Models website, there's also a QR code on the screen, you can scan with your phone, it'll take you straight to the Agora Models website. But pack free, without further ado, let's get cracking. So in stage 17, I will open this. This is the next tire that we're gonna be working on, but we're not actually working on that in this stage. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna put that to one side. What I am gonna do is bring over the floor pan here and these two mats that we received in the last pack, I'm gonna be putting into place. So we've got the smaller half mat here going in here. They just push in. They've got lugs at the bottom of them. So I'm just lining them up and get that in. And once you've pushed that in, it should hold itself no problems at all. Then we've got the full mat, which is this one here. It's just going into the position here. Again, with these lugs at the bottom, just pushed through the holes. And once again, they should hold themselves no problems at all. I've then got this partition to put in. This came in the last pack as well. We've got two holes just down this side here. This just pushes into those holes there. It does take some pushing, but there you go. That's in place. Right at the back section here, we've got two holes for the seat belt catches here. So I'm just figuring out which way around they go. They have got left and a right on. So I'm gonna put the right one in here. You put it on with the letter facing this center stalk. Just wiggle that in and then that'll fit in no problems like that. Do the same on the other side. Wiggle that in, and that's both of the belt catches in. And then finally, I've got the gearbox management control panel, which has this little tab just at the bottom. Again, this came in the last pack, which just pushes into the bladed section just here. Get this in. So it sits in just like that there. And that's all there is to do at that stage. So stage 18 here, we've got the rim for the wheel that we just got in the last stage, if that makes sense. <laughs> we've also got the hub for that wheel. I've now got three hubs, as you can see here. And I'm gonna basically put this rim in the tire. Now in the instructions, it is saying to uh, put this in water. I don't think I need to do that. I didn't do it for the other two, but the S pattern that we got here next to this narrow beam here, it's gonna be nearest to this side of the rim. So all I'm gonna do is push this in as you can see, I don't need any hot water. As long as we put it in, in one piece, I can go around like this. Make sure that's in that side, which I'm happy with. And then I will do exactly the same on the other side, which has already got itself in. Look at that. Look how easy that was to put in. No water at all. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 19 here, we've got the pedals. Now the pedals are linked to the electric. So you can see we've already got some cables coming off of these. 
So I'm just gonna gently, very gently, just untangle the two cables that are coming off these pedals. And I'm gonna be putting these cables, as you see, the switch is already attached, no putting switches on or anything. That's great. I think it's the first build that that's the case for that. Just putting the cables through this section here. I'm gonna position it so that the pedals, probably best to put this in first actually, and I'll show you how it needs to sit. So the pedals are fitting over those two holes there, ready for some screws. As you can see, these are coming out that side there. Now I need some B screws. Now remember on this build, all the screws come right at the start. So we don't need to hunt around for screws just in this pack. I'm gonna screw this into place. Make sure you haven't got any trapped wires in there. My wires are actually coming out through the middle of this section. I love how the switches are already in. So now you should be able to hear the click of both of these when we push them in. Excellent. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Quite a big stage in stage 20. We're gonna be working on the cooling system, which means the radiator and fans. And this is electric as well, which is gonna be great. Okay, so we're gonna mirror what we've got here with the fan that I've got on this side here. I'm gonna make sure it's the same way round as this fan here. So this is gonna be going into the top, just like that. It should clip into the holes there and hold itself in, no problems at all. Now on the other side of that, I'm gonna be putting the back of the fan, which just goes over the two holes that we've got there. And I need two size E screws to put that in with. So one this side, and one just on the other side here. Okay, if I turn this over this way now, I've got the front to put on, and this, look at the detailing on that. I think it's great that we're not putting parts together. This whole thing has been already created for us. So it's this way round, it's gonna fit over the top, just like that. This time this is held in with type E screws again. So I need four of these. I'm gonna get these all in. And we do have one other section here, which is this spun section. We don't actually do anything with that in this stage, but that is the end of that stage. Check that out. That's how that's looking. That's great. In stage 21 here, we've got the luggage compartment. So I get all of this out. And this is the luggage compartment lid which is gonna go on top like this. It has got these hinges behind it here. So I'm gonna to need to attach these hinges and I do that with type F screws. These are flat headed screws. So I'm just gonna line this up and get one of these screws in. I've only put it in a tiny amount at the moment because I'm gonna do the other side. Just to ensure that's square on there. And now I've got them both in, I can make them nice and tight. So that's one. That one's two, check it shuts okay. That's the luggage compartment complete and that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 22, once again, as you can see, I've got another rim which means we've got another tire coming. And in this rim, if I get this open, once again, I have got another hubcap. So that's four hubcaps I've got now. As you can probably expect, we're gonna be putting this on the tire. So I'm gonna be opening stage 23. And this is why I put both of these stages together. And obviously this is the bigger tire. So we've got two large tires, two small tires. Again, I wanna look for this figure S pattern here, which is next to this fin strip here because that is the side that's gonna have the rim on it. And just again, push the rim through here. So get it all the way in. And again, just massage the wheel around the rim. Check the other side, there you go. That's perfect, that's in place, and that's all there is to do in that stage. So stage 24 is the last stage in this, and we've got some seat belts in here. Let's get these out. And you know what I absolutely love? 
All the hard work's been done for us, so normally we'd have to thread these for ourselves, but as you can see on this one, already been done. <laughs> That's great. What I'm gonna do is just pull these belts through on this side here and here though, because I'm about to attach the back, which is this section here, into these two holes here. As you can see, we have got some locating lugs, so line them up, one, and two, and then push them together. And there you go, that makes a unit looking like that. We get to put this in the car now. So bringing that over, this is just gonna go into these two holes at the back just here. As you can see, we've got the matching sections on there. So that's gonna fit perfectly in there. Oops, get this one in like that. Makes it flush around this edge here, which I think is good. I'm gonna be holding that in with type B screws. Need two of these and just one on the other side. And now we want to secure this belt in to the clip, or I say clip, it's the hole that we've just got on the side there. So I'm going to line that up, get that pushed in. Now on my one, I've got one in here, as you can see there. On this one though, it's got a little D-shaped hole for some reason on mine but the actual connector is round. So I'm just getting a file in here just to make that round. I think I just had a bit of flashing on there, you see. As you can see, that's gone in perfect and that's the belt in place like that. That's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So that was actually a really quick pack. I just know that coming up with all the electrics in this, with the gullwing doors coming up, there's going to be a lot to do in the future packs. But if you like what you see, and look at this, we've done loads already. I have put a link once again to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.